He's a natural. He just wants to be on camera. <laughs> that socks. I think it's a cool name too because it looks like he's wearing socks. Ingenious. One's, one's a, a low cut sock, yeah. one's the uh, long sock, two socks. You know what happens when the sock gets coupled up and then you're stepping on it? Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's day 335. As you can already hear, my partner in crime, Nick, behind the camera. Thank you once again, my friend. No problem. Peaking. All right, so today, a new experiment. All right. Did a little research last night, and uh, I think this is going to be quite interesting. Oh, no peeking. Did you see that? No, I did okay. not. I don't want you to get. Uh, I don't know if the camera did because I was actually looking at my weight bench behind you. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully it didn't spoil the surprise. What I have here is, uh, you know, I, I I try to stay away from playing cards. Because, you know, too many card tricks can get boring, probably, maybe, possibly. But this is not a card trick, so don't think that it is a card trick. And I just want to make sure that uh, everything is, okay, good to go. This is what's going to happen. I'm first going to ask you a question. But before I ask you a question, I actually want to just fan these out for you. Uh-huh. And with this experiment, you are going to need a playing card. But just uh, point to any playing card that you like. Of my choice? Yep. Any of them. Okay. Of course, got to go as a nine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you notice, oh, I don't know if you can see them or not. They are just mixed up in colors, black and red, black and red. Kind of uh, alternating. But the, the key is here is, um, well, I'll show, you, I'll show you in a minute, actually. I'll put these right here. But for now, the nine of clubs that you said we'll put right over here. This bench is perfect because I can do everything in the line. <laughs> now... The the um, the research that I was doing last night was uh well what's in a name your name my name you know the where I come from New York they call it the government that's your government <laughs> but um there, there's a, I can't remember his name right now I should have wrote it down but it's a uh, science uh, scientist from Germany he did a, a research on shapes and words and how the two can go together. Uh, I know it kind of sounds confusing right now, but I want to show you something. And um, I want you to, uh, well, first let me get this out for you here. I want you to tell me what this means to you. Maluma. Does it mean anything um, to you? Never heard that word in my life. Yeah, me neither until this experiment. Um, I want you to just make sure that doesn't fly away right there. Okay, Maluma. Uh huh. And I don't know how you want to pronounce that. Takit or Takete. Kitty, 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 and I'll put that one right there, like that. Okay. My notepad would go right back over here. Now this is what um, the scientists said: that our brains are already hardwired, in a sense, to uh, be one with nature, if you will. I have here a few designs, um, shapes. I want you, without even thinking about it, uh -huh. grab one of those. Um, yeah, go ahead and take one now uh -huh. and place it on top of, if you wanted to name one of these objects. Which one would, would which I Which one would name? you name what? Yeah. Okay. All right. I already know. Okay. And then the other one over here? Yep. All right. Good. Now, that stickiness is almost lost, but I just want to put it right there so I can stay there. And this stickiness right there. Now, you know what's cool? When uh, I did this experiment, I personally did the same thing that you did. Really? Our brains are hardwired. And I, I think that he's uh, he's actually onto something. <laughs> Maluma. That's <laughs> awesome. I did the same thing, so I guess us humans are all just dumb animals after all. No, I'm just kidding. Well, no. What would what would you know make us think that this one was exactly. Tiki and this one's That's what I Maluma? Said. Isn't that neat? I, yeah. I wonder if you guys at home did the same thing. Please <laughs> leave a comment if you did. But now here's the cool part, right? Um, I wanted to do my own experiment, and I was thinking, okay, how can I do this? So remember earlier when I had you pick a card? Uh-huh. Check this out. Oh, and by the way, I have something written down somewhere else, and you'll see what it means in a minute. Now, I wrote down on the back of these, uh -huh. every single one of them, I colored a square. Okay. I drew a square on it. But for some reason, here, you picked the only one that was a triangle. <laughs> Are you inclined... To like a triangle? Do you like the shape of a triangle? I, or this is just a chance? I do like triangles. It's my second favorite shape, actually. Second? What's your first? Circles. Oh, nice! <laughs> <clears throat> well, I told you I wrote something down uh, before. 
Believe it or not, your name Nick actually fits the triangle. So you found your <laughs> your name, your mate in life. Is, is it a triangle? It's, it's, it's kind of the same as Maluma and Takiti. Yeah. When yeah. you found the triangle, that's Nick. That's awesome. The square was actually John. I'm oh. a square. <laughs> You're a square. <laughs> you <Yeah>. square. <laughs> you are you are Illuminati. No. <laughs> well, that's that's it. That's my cool experiment. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's day three thirty five. Hope you guys still smile. We'll see you tomorrow for three thirty six. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. And now I want to try to continue this experiment and with Joanne. Joanne, thank you for helping me out. It's next month. Now uh, this is what we have here, okay? I want to show you first. Well, first let me take my little pad out. Does this mean anything to you? Yeah, we said the same thing. Doesn't do anything for us. This is this is the experiment. It's a German scientist, and he realized or found out or discovered that our brains are hardwired in a certain, uh, in a sense, to almost, we kind of fit our names. Joanne would fit you, Bob would fit you, Nick would fit, John would fit me. Well, we did the experiment and it worked. I wanted to see how it works with females, if that's okay with you. Okay. Here's what I have, okay? I have these two shapes, if you will, objects, whatever they are. And what I want you to do is just, I have here Maluma, Mm -hmm. And however you want to pronounce that, Takiti. Takiti. Yeah, Takiti. 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 <laughs> okay. So whichever one you want to place, whichever you want to place it, but you have to try to name this object. So whatever name you think that object should be called, place that in front of it. Okay. Let's see. I'll put this in Maluma. Takiti. Okay. Is that your final decision? <laughs> or would you like to change your mind? And this is the only time you're able to change your mind. Yeah. You're good? Okay. You see now this that's what that's, we said, right? That's exactly what we said.